Yo, what's up, you pizza pasta gamers? Welcome back to Neptunia. Um, I don't really have a witty intro, honestly. I just kind of felt like playing this. I don't know how long I'll play for today, because I'm not in the greatest mood, honestly. I'm not sure what it is. I'm just kind of not feeling it today. I'm not sure why. Maybe it has to do with the fact that I stayed up until 2 a.m. last night. And I'm not particularly happy with that. I don't know why. That's just kind of how I am. Whenever I stay up too late, I just feel like absolute shit. And then, you know, my next more my next day is just kind of like ruined. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if that's the exact right phrasing. But yeah. Anyways. We got another dungeon. As if we haven't had enough of these already. <laughs> Den by the railroad. A cave near the train tracks where an Avenir employee escaped from a monster. You can hear someone's voice coming from inside. I mean, more importantly, where's the treasure? Um, it's clearly over that way. I mean, I just hope I don't get molly whopped today. <laughs> That's all I can hope for. Yo, check out these dudes. Oh yeah, if he has the freak diamond now. God damn. Bro, I literally just started. I just started. You did, like, half my health, dude. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> oh, item time. Gonna be using a lot of net bulls, I guess. I might, I might be underprepared or something if these guys are doing, like, 700 damage. Like, goddamn, bro. I just started the battle. Hello. That doesn't seem. That doesn't seem too hard to take down. How about this? I guess on the bright side, they are going to be dropping more reflexes, so it might not be bad. Oh, uh, hold on. Let me make sure the chat box is in the right place. Yeah, it is not in the right place at all. Okay, much better. Time to slap the absolute shit out of you and use Cerno to my advantage. <laughs> yeah, I don't think these guys have a weakness. Die. What's this? Neptune with a gun. That is still, like, the funniest thing ever. I don't know why. Oh, yeah, I also have... I think I always had the hunting sword. I think I can upgrade Neptune's weapon. But... I don't have, um... Enough money to afford it. That's the problem. I mean, this is apparently where I'm supposed to go next, so... I don't know. <laughs> 400 credits for that. It's not bad. Thing is, they're not gonna be dropping much, uh... Reflexes. At least not enough to... Out-damage all the times I gotta heal, you know? So, we'll see how this goes. You know, I might get a game over. Who knows? It's very possible. Not bad. Okay, that, that definitely makes up for it. Oh, <laughs> mm -hmm. immediately get into an encounter. Because this damn turtle, man, he gets like five shots off. And just straight up kills Kampa. 
What an asshole. I could probably kill the Chimera, though. This will work. Let's keep going. Don't rely on weapons too much. Should be able to kill pretty easily. Can you block this? Yeah, Spectral Edge. Boom. My sleeves are too long. <laughs> Here we go. Alright, nep, nep. Um... I realize that healing Kampa up is going to be kind of a pain in the ass now, because she has to not get targeted when we start the next battle. <laughs> so, hopefully that goes well. Third shot, baby. They're all set to third shot, for some reason. Yeah, you know, he gets another attack. How can... If he's the only one who can, like, n reasonably this tank is... these guys. And that's kind of crazy. That only if he can tank these guys now. Good old quad chain. Use that to my advantage. Perfect. See, now I was going to bug Seb to play Paper Jam today, so he, but he said he's not free, so... I was just like, you know, I'm just gonna play this, because I haven't played it this morning, because I played Budokai Tenkaichi 3 instead. <laughs> so, yeah. So now I have to, um... Well, one, I have to get out of here unscathed. And two, I have to make sure Kampa doesn't get targeted. <laughs> Otherwise, she's just gonna be constantly dying. Which is not good. I mean, I could just leave the dungeon, actually. Technically, I could do that. There, there's nothing that says I can't just leave the dungeon. Oh. That's, that's a nasty loadout. Um, we got bats. At least bats, like, dodge a lot. Freak Diamond, baby. Actually, this isn't this isn't too bad. I could probably take out these enemies. I'll take out the Gyuki first because he's more of a he's more annoying. Okay, maybe not. All right, so we gotta edit Kampa's thing. We have to um set it to special drink C. Oh, that is a lot. That is, like, a lot of... Like, it's not worth it, because I'm going to be leaving the dungeon anyways. So, I think I'm just going to kill the bat instead. And just hope that he doesn't target Kampa. I guess there is going to be a bit of grinding in this, after all. Yeah, here, bat. So now we gotta fight. We gotta fight good old Gyuki over here. Which, for the record, we had to fight five of these guys a while back. To, to shoot him. Yeah. As expected. <laughs> he just he just straight up punched Kampa in the face and killed her. All right, let's do a combo link. All right, getting better. I need to go test. 966. This that's crazy. Now, that's some damage. <laughs> that's what I call a platform game. Yeah, shoot him with the gun. I don't think we're killing him in one turn though. God damn. Why'd I hit, like, five times? <laughs> Alright, you can go back now. I don't know why he takes so long to go back to his position. <laughs> yeah, you see how annoying these guys are to kill? I don't think so. I don't think Kampa's doing too good. <laughs> 
Um, what the hell is Fathom? It doesn't tell you what the move does, though. See, I'm just gonna leave the dungeon and come back, because I don't know. Does the... Do the items respawn when you leave the dungeon, or no? I'm not sure. We'll see, though. Alright, this loadout I can definitely do. It's just those fucking turtle guys that are, like, unnecessarily annoying. <laughs> Did you think that was it? There we go. <laughs> I could probably kill the uh, vampire bet all alone. Hey, guy, here, you smelly bat. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Okay, I'm fine with that. I'm not fine with that, though. <laughs> Bro gets two attacks. Why do all the enemies get, like, two different attacks? Like, they had their turns, like, oh yeah, I'm gonna attack again, though. Yeah, I really need- I really need to kill this guy. There. <laughs> I'm gonna leave the dungeon so Compa this can get healed up. What people call hard mode. Hard mode? <laughs> it is hard mode. I am playing on hard. Okay, I'm leaving the dungeon. Because you can do that. Like, if you... Because you get auto-healed every time you leave a dungeon. Yeah. Okay, so what was that new thing that Iffy got? Was it an item skill? No. It was a combo. Of some kind. She got quick shot. I think that's what she learned? No, she learned Fathom. Okay, I could do that. Fathom, yeah, sure, we'll do that. Cost 25, so I guess that'd be a pretty good move for her, huh? Um... I don't know if- I don't think Compa got any new ones. Neptune has quite a bit. She has Charge Shot level 1. Have I even used Charge Shot level 1? End bonus transform. That's a pretty good combo. Wait, both of these are charge shot level one? Let's do um combo link instead. There we go. Alright, so I could buy some... I could buy some items now. So, like, I, there's the Bastard Sword for Neptune, for example. Which costs a lot. And this for Compa, which also costs a lot. Like, I feel like I'm better off just waiting to get, um... Weapon drops instead of just buying them. And I'm gonna buy, like... 10 reflexes. So I have extra healing. I mean, that's basically- that's basically just how you heal in this game. The challenge cave. Now, the question is- I have- the question I have about dungeons is... Do the chests respawn, or do they stay collected permanently? Because that is a question I've been wondering for a while, because I've never had to leave a dungeon before. We're about to find out once I do this random encounter. <laughs> Called it. Yeah, like, I can deal with... I can deal with that. I mean I, I just, I mean, I just hate the fact that the fucking turtle... Or whatever the fuck this thing is... He targets... Um... You twice, and he does like 800 damage each time. Well, he's called Orthrus. Isn't that like a Greek god or something? Or a Greek mythology monster or something? I'm pretty sure. 
Okay, let's try out our new combo that we got. I need to go test. That didn't do anything. Quick shot. A perfect target. And then Fathom. Let's see Fathom in action. It's like a cute Reaper girl. I think all the animations are the same based on element. Did knock them over. Mm, and it also gives her combo link. Don't rely on weapons too much. All right, Compa, time to shoot at him. I probably should just do the same combos with everybody, <laughs> based on how I'm feeling. Alright, Compa, please kill this turtle. I'm just gonna keep calling him a turtle. He looks like a turtle to me. Get him. Bang, bang, bang. Oh, charge shot level one. Boy, I have 500. Holy shit. That wasn't bad. Yeah, this Chimera is, like, extremely weak. It doesn't do any damage, like, at all. My sleeves are too long. Perfect. So, leaving the Chimera to last is probably a smart idea. Hey, a yeah! Alright. Chests do stay open, so there are only a limited number of chests nice. in the game. Hmm. Okay, so that's where we're supposed to go. Oh, Monster Bell. My turn. <laughs> Calm down. Oh, it's this thing. It's this guy that doesn't do much damage anymore, but is a tanky motherfucker. Alright, let's go all out then. To switch. Yeah, I can't switch. Because I don't have anything. Cerno, sure, go. Just gonna jam out to the music. I was just a melee character. Just a melee character. <laughs> How about this? About to break his guard in a second here. Can you block this? Well, I will if I don't run out of AP. Just mash. Also, if he took a lot of fucking damage there, I'm not sure why. <laughs> I think this- I swear this guy gets, like, more health every time I fight him. That didn't do much. I don't know why I did Octo me. So they just put these guys in to give you, like, a crap ton of experience. Which, I mean, hey, is good. Another one's coming. <laughs> it's coming, it's coming. Okay, so... The thing with the thing about Iffy is she can't cure unless she's below 15% HP. Which is really specific. So she has to get hit right now to heal, even. 
So I gotta use all her moves up. This is a and I gotta defend now with her. How can yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, she almost died. This is really clutch. I don't know how if he lived that, but I won't complain. Ooh, about to break this guard. Never mind, I missed. <laughs> there we go. Alright, don't don't just like spam too much because you wanna pay attention to um Iffy's thing. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna end the combo. My sleeves are too long. And we're gonna defend. We gotta defend again. Damn, that does a lot of damage. Whoa! What the it's fuck? If I give up. Why the fuck did it kill Nep Nep? Okay, can I can I revive? Do I even have enough to revive? I cannot revive. Oh fuck. I don't have any reflexes left to do that. Okay, I guess Neptune's just fucking dead then. So, that sucks. I hope I can kill this thing then before we die. I should probably be defending with all my characters. Jesus. <laughs> Also, I'm about to run out of F I'm about to run out of items, actually. I should have saved before I did this fight. I don't think I did save. I mean I saved in the middle of the dungeon, but not before this fight. I think we're kinda screwed here, honestly. Yeah, the cop is dead. I don't like getting hurt. Damn. <laughs> Fuck, he does so much damage. I might not fight this guy, honestly. Well, I mean, I probably can fight him. It's just I gotta defend whenever I fight him. I just need to remember to do that. Oh, I push myself too much. Hey, what's up, Jose? Um, oh yeah, I can just- I can just do the fight over again. And what we'll do is we'll, um... We'll do what we did before, but we'll defend at the end of every turn. Alright, getting better. Let's keep going. Alright, I'm gonna end the combo and defend. Yeah. Okay, I can deal with that. Ooh, item time. Ooh, item. <laughs> yeah, and now Neptune's basically just healed up. What am I free for Soku? Um, I don't know. You probably heard about that from Zeppi, right? Because uh, he said we'd play it. So I don't know. Maybe you can. Maybe you want. Maybe we can do it one of these days instead of uh, Radiant Dawn. I don't know. So maybe we could do it on um, Thursday or something. I don't know. <laughs> Funky. Alright, I'm gonna defend then with Kampa. And we're gonna do that with all the characters so we can get as much defense as possible. <laughs> and also, I need to remember how to transform with Neptune, but I don't remember. There we go. 
Now we're defending, so we won't take as much. That didn't hurt. Yeah, I can I can deal with that. That's not bad. More Soku. Yeah, Saturday or Thursday. Let's do let's do Soku on on Thursday. That sounds like a fun time. Oh, I broke his guard. Let's go. Hmm. Defend again. <laughs> nice Cerno, Fumo. Thanks. <laughs> Defend again with everybody. <laughs> this, this is the only way we're winning this. Wow, he attacked her this twice. What an asshole. Found <laughs> key. Honestly, this in, this entire episode is just gonna be this one fucking enemy. Cause he's so bulky. Like why? Why'd they make him so bulky? <laughs> is it? I need to remind myself what the fucking combo is, because I don't remember again. It's triangle, 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 circle. Yeah, that's all I needed. Now Neptune is going to be tanking a bit more. <laughs> Broke his guard again. Not yet. That is still at four hundred. <laughs> yeah, that only does twenty now instead of like fifty, like I was doing earlier. I think this would have sold for a good price. <laughs> I won't hesitate to use more. Although, since I'm using all my heals now, that's the, that means I can't heal later, which really sucks. Oh yeah, hey Elijah, have you seen this? Have you seen the Cerno animation yet? <laughs> Maximum funky. Yeah, it's pretty great, honestly. I'll get you. There we go. All right, getting better. I'm gonna end my combo early. That didn't hurt. Especially if he does that. <laughs> this should work. All right, that's my last heal. So if we can't win this, that's gonna really suck. He's only half dead, bro, and we barely even used our heal. We have already used our heals. This kind of sucks. At least Neptune is transformed, so that helps a little bit. Okay, that, that's something good. We're doing a little bit more damage now. <laughs> Okay, well, at this rate, we just have to get lucky. Not yet. That still did like 400 damage. Jesus. Yeah, and Kampa's not looking good. She's on the verge of dying. 
I have one eject button. I'm I am not I'm probably never gonna use those eject buttons, honestly. Like I doubt it. <laughs> We're doing something, I mean, it's just helping. Yep, just defend. <laughs> He's so close to dying, though. All right, getting better. Oops, I didn't guard with Iffy. <laughs> Compa's dead. Ah! Alright, well, Compa's down. That's not good. That was, that was with guarding, too, by the way. Yeah, Fantasy Zone, go. I'll go as much as... I'll go as much as... Oh, I broke his guard again. Let's go. This guy never dies. I did it again, bro. <laughs> Fuck. Wait, why'd he do that? He did so much damage. What the hell? Come on, Gumbario. I think I got a combo link, so that helps. We're pretty boned, honestly. At the very least, I might get Iffy a level up, and that's about it. All right, getting back. All right, just gotta defend. He's so close to dying. Oh, she lived that. We lived. Oh shit! Come on, go Mario. He's dead. He's dead. We got him. Oh shit. How much do we get for that? Everything's fine in the end. 13,000 experience. I got 3 level ups for that. Holy fuck. I don't get any credits though. But I got 3 level ups from that. I'll keep getting stronger. She got red grass. I can't believe we got like 2 to 3 level ups from that. If it, a compa didn't get anything though, which really sucks. So I might have to leave the dungeon again. Oh, there's a chest over here. Wait, did that refresh the chests? Cause they cost a lot to heal. Hmm. Yeah, it's just not happening. So I'm leaving the dungeon, even though I'm basically about to die. So yeah. Don't underestimate my syringe, or you'll be sorry. And then this guy comes in and he just whoops our ass. I don't like getting what? hurt. What? Why did why did the that guy get the first move? Ooh, item time. <laughs> Ooh. You know what? It's time to use the first eject button. <laughs> yep. That went terribly. It won't be the last time that happens either. I'm kind of in an unwinnable situation now, though. Because now I have... Don't waste your life. None of us are healed up. Yeah, look look at that. We're all we're all in like low health zone now. It's only over if I give up. So I can't even take that level up that I got from that guy because I have no no way of winning this. Which is really shitty. I I can kill a bat and that's about it, but I'm dead after that. So fighting that guy's not even worth it. Yeah. I can't believe this. Wow, that fucking sucks. 
So I did all that for nothing. That was a big waste of my time, then. Okay, uh, so don't fight that guy, then. Screw the- screw the optional shit, just go to the end of the dungeon, we fight that guy later when we have more party members and healing and shit. Because that is just not worth it at all. Get ready. Oh great, like the worst possible loadout outcome. I attack this guy. Well, at least we know that in a few level ups, if he's gonna get red grass, whatever that does. I'm on a roll today. Boom. I don't think that hit. Mm. Alright, at least that guy is dead. I don't think we're killing this dude, though. Yeah, I have to defend with Neptune. I can at least defend with Neptune. Ow. This <laughs> should work. I got more net bulls. Honestly, I should get into a habit of saving before I fight any of the monsters with the monster bell, because who knows what the hell is going to happen there. Like, there's a very big chance that I'll get, like, dicked over by, uh, whatever the f- If I get another one of those, like, Cleon enemies. Easy peasy. 340. Still cares what red grass is, though. So don't- yeah, don't go over there. Just ignore that. Obtained item. Five gelatins. I haven't used those yet, really. I- like... They're only used for very specific spells. I mean, the exit isn't that far away. From above. Watch out. Great, and of course I get the worst possible encounter again. Yep. Bro, why do you get, like, three turns, dude? Chill out. Fuck you. <laughs> now we have to kill these guys as soon as possible. Let's do Octomania, so we get a combo link from that, I'm pretty sure. Now's my chance to attack there. <laughs> and we'll have Neptune do the same thing. <laughs> However, use Goombario, and then Fantasy Zone. Another one's coming. <laughs> and then we get an extra attack off. There. Now take your turn or whatever, you lame ass. So it's impossible to kill those guys in two in one turn, basically. It's not bad being praised for good work. <laughs> took a lot of damage though. <laughs> All right, we made it to the end. That's- that's the whole dungeon, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's like the 28th time this song's played. More importantly, why the fuck did we go through, like, a railroad cave? Oh, you're the performing trio Shion mentioned? The bag's in the back. It's got a big label on it, and it's fairly heavy. No sweat. I'm in command of these two girls with decent strength stats. They can carry anything. <laughs> Great. Seems Xian found some lovely friends to help her out. She's been too high-strung ever since she took over after her father. I'm glad she's found people she can depend on. You know, we haven't met her pup yet. Could he be... 
One, working on another planet. <laughs> Two, a binge drinking gambling addict. Three, impaled by a hedgehog. Answer away. <laughs> Sonic reference? <laughs> Wait, that third one is a little... Oh, Nap Nap, you're being rude. Unfortunately, the third is the closest. It's cliche, but he died in a tragic accident. How tragic. How do you know Xion? I've known her since she was born. I worked with her old man at the factory in Passe. But like the other factories, Avenir's claws dug deep, and we had no choice but to abandon that place. Surprisingly good backstory. <laughs> her mother asked me to come back after her father's death, but I'd already committed to the shop by then. So Xion became the president? Sounds really dramatic for some minor story characters. <laughs> Damn it, Kampa. Never fear. We'll right all the wrongs Avenir's committed and stuff. That would be nice, but I doubt you can. Avenir is under direct protection of the Parliament. What? Fuck. The Parliament is part of the Basilicon, right? Why'd they want to protect Avenir? Moony, maybe? I guess you don't know. Avenir is still on the loose, even after putting so many people through misery. Yeah, why do they why do they want that? Because our parliament simply refuses to do anything to stop them. Parliament requires the votes of the people to execute an order. Avenir holds the biggest market on this landmass. Oh, so it's like the elections that are it's like the raid elections. Meaning they <laughs> stand for the majority of Last Station's residents. <laughs> well shit. I see. With Avenir on their side, they practically have enough support to do anything they want as well. Crazy. It's a small price to pay for them to ignore what Avenir is really doing. Avenir will continue to grow, and Parliament will continue to collect favorable votes. It'll only get worse. So basically, we're all in agreement that, like, yeah, they suck, but we can't really do shit about it because they have, like, control over the votes. I never knew this. Sounds like we really should focus some effort on this Avenir business. Okay, well, some we got some sauce going on here. Burp, 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 burp. Hmm. Avenir's solicitor. As requested by Avenir, the party's journeys to a dungeon where an Avenir employee said to be. 29 times, dude! Today's job is to rescue an Avenir employee. Ahem. The train was attacked by monsters. Please save the survivor. What, what, what? Helping Avenir again? I don't <laughs> know about helping out our sworn nemesis. Okay, I'm just making sure chat's not dying on me again. Hmm. Glitch items were discovered in the TTYD remake? That's crazy. Besides, don't there Might have to look at that later. Boomsticks they make at their factories. Xion said Avenir doesn't make weaponry for human use due to their president's motto. Oh my god, they're all about that. They're about this mechanic, like machinery only a bit bullshit. Plus, the employees themselves aren't bad people. You shouldn't be picky about which lives deserve saving, Nep Nep. There is no line to draw when saving lives. Now, let's hurry over to the site where the train was attacked. Thick thighs save lives. So now we got another dungeon to go to. That's pretty much this, the gist of this game. It's like, watch cutscene, go to dungeon. Watch cutscene, go to dungeon. But I, I, I kind of like it. It's, it's not too repetitive. Even though it kind of is. But, whatever. Anyways, I want to buy more reflexes. That's pretty much just gonna, what I'm going to be doing all the game, honestly. Hmm. I mean, I could get the... the coral beads... You can only have one coral bead at a time. Well, hang on. How much does the... I can't afford this, even. Like, what if I wanted to get this on Neptune? Wait, what am I wearing? What is Neptune wearing? He's still wearing the studded bracelet. Hmm. Not really much else I can put on her. 
Well, this does give her more magic defense, just a tiny bit. So our Neptune and Kampa... Well, Kampa's wearing the anti-wind ring. Which I guess is slightly better. But I need to get them better equipment. Like, I need to get them the speed generator, probably. And, 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 and if he's the only one with the actually good defense... He has the youth bandage. Again, this wouldn't be much of a problem if I could just sell stuff. Hmm. Could do, um... Yeah, I can't do any of this stuff. <laughs> I don't have any uh, items. Well, at least I can max this out. Now, if he can heal 100% of the time. <laughs> Alright, well, um... I'm gonna get this bot. I'm just gonna max out on reflexes, then. That's all I really want to do. Because I'd rather buy some reflexes than try and save up, because if I try to save up, I'm gonna be... just not doing good in, in terms of items. Hopefully we can get enough money so that we can buy equipment. Also, I can see the, um... Yeah, I can see Louis incoming. You know what? Let's go to Louis. How do I go there? Can I can I can I uh, search Louis? Okay. You know what? Let's just ignore the story and let's go to Louis <laughs> instead, because that sounds more fun. Oh, here's this dungeon. Thing is, I don't know if I'm gonna get wrecked in this dungeon or not. Hey, there's a chest in here. Not bad. Ooh, five gelatins. Well, we're, the, we're out to find out if to go treasure hunting? anything's gonna get wrecked, or if I'm gonna get wrecked in here. Back off! Don't waste your life. What are you? Oh yeah, you guys aren't that strong. Well, not too strong. They got a fuck ton of turns, though. Oh yeah, these guys aren't that hard, actually. Alright, bye. Do I use fire on you, then? I think they are weak to wind. <laughs> a victory for our party. Hey, I got a reflex drop. Nice. Yeah, see, there's, these are just like joke enemies at, that you fight on the way to um, Louis. So what I want to be doing, I'm just going to ignore everything on the way there. I'm just going to go to the exit. Yeah, because screw all that noise. Ah, <laughs> oh, so close. Oh boy, whatever. I guess I have some time. Ah, <laughs> eh, whatever. Yeah, 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 do your attacks. Maybe I can kill this thing in time? Mm, I don't know. Oh, just barely killed it. <laughs> nice. Now, can Kampa kill this thing? Kill Octomania. Oh, that did a lot. Okay, good. Come on, nip, nip. Oh, it's dead. <laughs> My turn's not over yet. No, Neptune, your turn is over. Hmm. Again, I'm slicing junk. Reflex. Yeah, I appreciate all the item drops, though. Those are nice. Anyways, let's go to Louis for fun. Because you can do that. I like that you can do that in this game. That's kind of cool. You can just say, like, I want to go to Louis.
Yay, we're in Louis now. Totally not ripping off Mario, by the way. With the castles and mushroom houses. Land of White Serenity, Louis. I mean, they got fun music here. I mean, it's, it's definitely a breath of fresh air compared to uh, Last Station. The White Heart blog. It's a blog written by Louis Goddess White Heart. You can read about Louis and the Goddess's daily life. I mean, pretty much the standard stuff. But there's pretty much not much here. Snowy Land. Louis is a calm land covered entirely in a blanket of white. The people of Louis have unwavering faith in their goddess's protection. 30 times, dude. <laughs> yeah, some energy of some kind was totally getting drained whenever I was all talky. Like, my soul was trying to jump ship. Are you okay? You girls hardly look layered enough to travel in the snow. The sanctified. <laughs> They're just whining. It wasn't all that cold. Does this have something to do with Louise Goddess? I mean, they all got, like, reasonably warm clothing. I don't see what will be the problem. Explain the difference with words alone. So yeah, to the point. Do you know where strong monsters are around here? We're traveling the world, finding key fragments and fighting monsters. Why not go to the Central Basilicom, Entreme, if you're curious about monster research? This Basilicom is just a local branch. Fuck. <laughs> there are two Basilicoms in the Wii? Then there are two goddesses? They no. Must be twins. <laughs> no, that's not till the next game, Compa. <laughs> no. Each city in Louis has its own local basilicom to govern the area. The central basilicom, also known as Entremet, is where all local basilicoms are managed. Our CPU resides there. Oh shit. Okay, so if I go there, I can bug them about monsters and say hey to the goddess, right? <laughs> Yo, what's up, goddess? Yeah, I'll give you a map to find it. The roads can be a bit harsh, so be careful. Okay, we're, we're, we're getting somewhere, right? This game feels very open. Like, it, it feels like you can kind of go wherever the fuck you want. And I'm guessing they don't have anything in this shop, right? And I don't have a lot of credits. I'll just buy three more reflexes, so I have six heals. I think all of these shops sell the same... Like, they sell the same stuff. But yeah, that's what I'm going to be saving up for. I'm going to be saving up for the speed generator. Wait a minute. The speed generator isn't actually better than what I'm wearing. Well then what do I save up for? Hmm. Well, there is, uh, armor. Hmm. Okay, I guess this is the best armor we can have right now, so we'd basically be wanting to save up for the new weapons then, I think. Or hope for better things. High five radio. Oh my god! Why is it so loud? <laughs> Why was that so loud? Hi, 5PB here. Been a while. We, we're taking messages from our listeners right now. I'll read them here and carry the messages on to whoever they want. These can be about anything. Life updates, thank yous, love confessions, whatever. The messages can be for someone special or just to me. Here's some messages for today. Um, okay. A letter from the screen name, I love Pochi from Last Station. Good day to you, 5PB, and a good one to you. I'm willing, I, I'm writing to thank someone who fought for my now gone Pochi. Thank you. I'm sure your words have reached Pochi too. That's all for today. Goodbye. This show was brought to you by Compass Grandpa? Wow. That was fun. Alright. 
the Central Basilicum. In Louis, Basilicums are located in each city. The party now heads towards the Central Basilicum. Oh, fuck. <laughs> We're in the snow. So cold. My butt's frozen. I think. I, want to cool <laughs> I think. I think. With some hot chocolate and a big blanket. It's really not that cold. We're not even dressed heavily. If you're that cold, do you want my hot pack? Hot pants? What? What's that? <laughs> hot of pants? This is supposed to be a magical fantasy world of fun. I thought if he was talking about like hot pockets. Hot pack. Pack. I brought stuff from Planetune just in case. Trade it off every few minutes. Oh, yeah. Okay, I get it. You're after me, Kampa. <laughs> Thank you so much. It looks like Antrim is located through the forest. Why would they build their main basilicum there? It should be made more accessible for normal people. It's a sacred place for the goddess. This way, it Hold looks on. like Nip can't wander in, break stuff, and leave <laughs> so easily. I'm gonna tell Zeppi that I might be about to find Blonde. Cause I know he'd wanna see I know he'd wanna see that. You know, I don't think, um, I don't think I'm actually, I don't think I have streamer mode on. Whoops. It's probably because I changed my PFP today. Yeah, that, that makes sense. I'm gonna summon him by saying that Blonde's gonna show up soon, I think. <laughs> I see. Wait, you make it sound like I'm suspicious or something. It looks like this forest, meant to turn away travelers, has become a place monsters can call home. Ah, oh, god damn it. There's monsters here too. Is there so is there a dungeon I gotta go in then? This snow forest. What else is there? Planet PR brief. Abnormality in Snowland. The Sanctified. Large amounts of. Okay, I'm not reading all that. <laughs> level 700. What's all those? Level 700 and level 600 shit. Okay, level 5 I could do. The Upstart Dungeon. Can I do that? Where's the level 5 dungeon? I saw Promise Blonde. Where's she at? Apparently she's in- she, apparently she's at the end of this forest. So if we could beat this forest, we might get to see Blonde. I hope. Ooh, now this is a good dungeon. Holy shit, this looks nice. This is honestly so refreshing to see after all of the fucking cave dungeons I went through. I hope we'll find something nice. Oh, okay. It's, it's that way. That away. Surely the enemies here can't be too tough, right? Because I just made it to last. I just made it to Louis. Whatever. I guess I have some time. Yeah, it's just these guys again. Vorpal and Sea Serpent. Kind of refreshing fighting all these easier enemies. Christmas dungeon. <laughs> no, 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 no. And the music is like unnecessarily dramatic too. <laughs> Don't run away. All right, Octo. So obviously we're not gonna want to use ice damage in this dungeon. Alright, Neptune, kill the sea serpent. Gotta aim for the head. Is <laughs> it the gun? Yeah. Okay, it's nice to have some easy battles for a change. Our party rules. That is Louise theme though. Yay, all these items. Free items. Item. I got four more reflexes. Yeah, so I got kind of sick of Last Station, so I decided to go to, um, 
Louis instead? Okay. <laughs> now, before I do this, we're saving. My turn. I'll make all of you proud. Cause this guy might kick my ass. We'll see, though. Well, it's kind of hard to tell if I'm gonna miss. Okay, this this guy is a little easier. He's not as tanky. Still pretty tanky, though, honestly. Do I ever get ice bullets, or are these the only four bullets I can pick from throughout the whole game? Okay, that, that damage I can deal with. That's not bad. I'm just gonna keep attacking the shit out of this thing. I don't even know what this dude's supposed to be. Let me see if I can remember the combo. No, that's not the combo. Charge shot level 1, baby. Yeah. Alright, let's end it with Purple Heart. Bang. He's living. Stop dodging. Bro. Why is he dodging so much? Oh, Bro's dodging a lot just because he's about to die. More and more. Go! There we go. How much experience do I get for that? Great. We won. 1300. That's pretty good. Ooh. I'm stronger. Well, I got first aid kit with Kampa. Bro got the evasion. Yeah, it's like a Fire Emblem uh, enemy. Like, like, or it's like the opposite of a Fire Emblem unit. Alright, what's first aid kit? Or whatever I just learned. First aid kit. Restores 30% of the party's HP. Now, does that happen when Kampa has 50% or less? Hmm. Or does it happen when anybody is 50% or less? Don't know, but that is a pretty decent one. We'll put 5% into it. Anyways, Nep has... Um... Yeah, I still have EX Net Bowl, which is good. And if he... I think if he learns red... She learns Red Grass next level, I'm pretty sure. Alright, let me get Iffy back out so I can find where the treasure is. Oh, no, I need Neptune. <laughs> I'ma break it. Look pretty weak. They even tell you the enemies are weak. Oh no, 200 damage. See now that that damage is a bit more reasonable. Like I could understand taking 200 damage at a time. Like not 700. That's way too much, bro. Bye. Bye, bitch. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't think I'm killing the sea serum in one turn with Neptune, are I? This gun's heavy. Ooh, 
That's pretty good, though. Damn, okay, maybe Neptune is gonna kill this thing. Okay, bye. <laughs> Never mind, that was easy. Want to hear the Nepu song? <laughs> yeah, I have the Nepu song. I think it's right here. <laughs> there you go. There's the Nep song. Ready to go treasure hunting? Oh, it's over there. Okay. Hmm. Mm. All right, is it here? I wonder what kind of items are here. Um, it's over there. Wait, where is it? Oh, it's this way. Okay, is it more towards the end of the dungeon then? They're not as strong as they look. <laughs> A bit quiet, but I'm happy. Lol. <laughs> All right, kill this fucker. Come on, Ify, you gotta kill this guy. So close. There! 600, exactly. Dang. <laughs> More unnecessary damage. I think it's most. I think it's more just because the game itself. The game itself is kind of loud. Because one thing I noticed about the original Neptunia is a lot of the shit is like kind of base boosted. They kind of fixed that problem in later games. <laughs> I think Mark II onward, maybe. Ready to go treasure hunting? Oh yeah, it's over there at the end of the corridor. All right, this better be worth it, whatever it is. Ready to go treasure hunting? What? It didn't summon. Am I really not close enough to the treasure? God damn it! I wonder what kind of items are here. There we go. So what's this? Awesome. Four reflexes. I mean, I'll take it. It's a free heal. Like, I'm normally not that happy to see just standard heals, but in a game like this, it kind of matters. Easy. Let's get him in a single turn. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> Easy. Alright, yeah, yeah. Take your turn, sea serpents. Alright, which sea... This sea serpent. We gotta kill this asshole. Alright, if he's melee is the best like, attacks in her kit. So, yesterday was kind of a funny day, because, um, Zack tried doing a Paper Mario rando, and he ended up failing at it. <laughs> oh, here it is. I'll talk about it later after this cutscene. Oh, here she is. Here's Blonde. Make them leave. <laughs> We've had fewer and fewer visitors coming due to the monsters. Perhaps we should try to be more welcoming. That's just dead ass a pipe from Mario. <laughs> you actually believe my ability to protect has weakened due to wavering faith? 
absolutely not. How could your protection ever weaken? However, we must do something to raise our reputation. They may spread rumors how Louise <laughs> Best girl. won't even greet travelers who came all the way through the snow to see her. It's not gonna work. You can't make me come out. The evangelist will give you a lecture if you keep that attitude. <laughs> Fine. Let them in. I'll come out in a few. Understood. Yay, it's Balon. Excuse us. These three are the ladies wishing to meet with Lady Whiteheart. IF, Kampa, and Neptune. By the way, fi financier also great. She doesn't get a lot of screen time, but she is great. They are traveling the world in search of powerful monsters. Balan has her own maid. <laughs> you girls are here to ask questions, correct? Please, 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 be polite. Excuse me. Thirty times. It's our first time meeting you for sure, Neptune. The hell do you think you're doing here with that <laughs> fat, cheeky, stupid face? Stupid face? <laughs> stupid face? Cheeky from the cold, and my face changes when I transform. But blah. Anyway, we're looking for an item called a key fragment. We want to know if you got any idea where. Item questing. What are you plotting? Well, we gotta get them to save Isti. I thought you might want to help us. Key fragments are guarded by strong monsters. If you know of any dungeons where we can fight one, save someone. That's good for you. You seem like you don't give a shit about anything else. <laughs> Damn. I haven't heard of an item like that. Too bad. What about monsters? Any ideas where we can go? Or is that totally not goddess knowledge? Aren't I goddess-like enough for you? Oh, so sorry. How about you ask the Basilicon those questions instead? But, but, but this is your land! You gotta know it like the back of your head, right? If you're busy, we can come back later. When are you free? Tomorrow? The day after? The day after that? After that? That? Never. <laughs> Never. I don't think such an item exists in Louis. And it's the back of your hand, idiot. What? No way. Isti said there's one on each landmass. In fact, we found one on Planetune. This isn't Planetune. Then, monsters? Anywhere strong monsters gather? You're really pissing me off. I said to ask the Basilicon. I don't care anymore. Would that other chick know? What's her name? Oh, wait, what <laughs> more? Have you heard of anyone named Isti? Her <laughs> full name is... Holy crap, shut up! I said I don't know! Such nerve showing yourself in front of me like this. Enough! Don't ever return! Damn, Blonde's not in a good mood today. Raising your voice like that. Rather shameful for a goddess to have such barbaric manners, Lady Whiteheart. Conversacion. You were here. An evangelist's job is to go propagate beliefs regarding me to other lands, right? What is the title of the best Henry Potter episode? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know all of them by memory. Well, you need to support my teachings by acting like a goddess. Otherwise... Oh, this is so annoying. Did you just come back here to lecture me, you pasty old hag? Why do you think I promoted you from Chamberlain to Evangelist? Get a freaking clue. Stop breathing down my damn neck. I can't do that until you stop having your little violent childish tantrums. Oops, was that inappropriate? Forgive me. Nevertheless, people won't follow a goddess to simply receive protection. You must... I... I know! Jeez, I get it, okay? There are more and more casualties from monsters. It's a huge thorn in my ass. You shouldn't be so frank, even with me. A goddess's leadership and style <laughs> will affect their land as well. <laughs> this is good. Um, is this gonna be in highlights? Blonde's gonna take half the moments. I mean, she is pretty funny. You can only improve those by improving your level of self-control. Either way, I forgot the next. I think the next episode is like save the coffee boy or something. 
it like you asked. I swallow most of my words so I don't just spit them out. Still, your occasional outbursts are unacceptable as a goddess. You know that, right? Oh, don't worry. I'm fully aware I'm so very not goddess-like and bratty. No, I'm so pissed. I'll be gone for a while again. <laughs> Make sure you watch your attitude as Lady Whiteheart. Yeah, okay, bye. Excuse my shitty language. Don't ever come back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that, that is a really funny line. That, that is, that, that line right there is so good. Honestly, I'm glad we came here. We got to meet Blonde. And she just shit talks the whole episode. Great. Alright, I'm gonna try and save up. When she joined the party? I don't know. I don't know when the, I get new characters in this game. Like, I've been stuck with Kampa, Neptune, and Iffy for like four or five episodes now and i have there's been no sign of getting new party members i haven't even seen any of the new characters yet well new you know what i mean legendary overlord louise evangelist greets the trio she mentions the existence of an overlord who's rumored to be stronger than a goddess 31 times these are all our monster infested dungeons are you sure you'll be fine they're very formidable. Yep, no worries. This is how we <laughs> No go. worry, don't worry about it. Nothing's gonna stand a chance against all three of us lovely ladies. Oh, no, I'm not looking it up. I, I want to be surprised, actually. Overly confident people like you tend to trigger death flags pretty quick. <laughs> However, you seem like you're okay with it. They just they just pull no punches when they make, like, game jokes. It's like, oh, yeah, you're gonna, like, trigger my, my flag, you know? Shit like that. Uh, Snap it in half and toss it in a recycle bin because I'm environmentally conscious. <laughs> That's another good line. A recycle bin, huh? How modern of you. Anyhow, oh, always, monster hunting. always remember to empty recycling bins so you don't lose all your storage space either. Pardon me, you there. I heard you talking about monster hunting. Have you <laughs> heard of over monster animals? hunting? An overlord? Maybe we've heard of that a few times. As I thought, these monsters are Overlord Momus' loyal vassals. You will face judgment if you defeat them. So, you're telling us not to fight them? I don't know if we can manage that. That's unfortunate. You must think you're saving this world by fighting them. This world is already hopeless. As a servant to a goddess, I should never utter such things. However, even the goddesses are not absolute. Your efforts will go to waste. You're all still young. Don't risk your lives doing this. What? Why are you saying all this to us? We're trying to do more than sit and wait. We could probably beat that overlord too. I think, I think, um... I think the evangelist being just a shadowy figure in this game works better than how it is in Rebirth 1. Because... I don't know, it looks a little too obvious that she's evil in Rebirth 1, but in this, she's just like a mysterious shadowy figure. I like it better, honestly. Impossible. The Overlord is so strong, even the original goddess was barely able to seal him away. The current goddesses had no choice but to escape to this world and get away from danger. All of the goddesses, except one, came down to their lands at once. Was it Nep Nep? That should be enough proof. They stood no chance against the Overlord, ran away, and let Celestia get ravaged. Besides, I saw it myself. The messenger's punishment by the Overlord's hand. You too will eventually. I bet you that messenger was like mid-boss level. <laughs> we can't save the world if we're scared of a weakling like that. <laughs> she said mid. Yeah, but thanks for story time. How can an Overlord <laughs> like that really exist? You have to stop playing RPGs so much. <laughs> God, I love the dialogue in this game. It's so good. Alright, so are we going to another dungeon? That's a quest. What was, um... Schooner? Schooner type AL. 
Braga Tower. Hmm. Where was the, um... I don't know. Uh, the Archbishop of Leanbox. Oh, I gotta go to Le Leanbox again? Mysterious Invasion. The party treks to a dungeon mentioned by Financier, Whiteheart's loyal chamberlain. Who will they run into next? Tangerines! Whiteheart's blog updated. The dialogue's crazy. Item selling girl. Compa struggles making the medicine to treat Neptune's sniffles. This leads to a chance encounter between the party and a smart little girl. Oh, is this who I think it is? Compa, I'm feeling icky sticky. Can you check my temperature and stuff? Oh, you may have a cold. It's because you never use the covers when you sleep. You should be more careful about that. Hold on a minute and I'll make you some good medicine. Yeah, Kampa's good at medicine. Are you done yet? Huh? Why? It's not working. Let me handle this. Sometimes beginner's luck works. No! I want to help Nep Nep! But you're not doing it right. Come on. <laughs> oh boy. I lo look at those look at those beds. Oh my god, yes! Take care of it. There she is. Huh? Poor. I am Gust. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Look at her. Mix potion A and potion B, then add powder. Put 31. 31 times. <laughs> I'm glad I stood back. What was that minor explosion? Done? <laughs> Synthesis failure. What the Explosion fuck? Explosion is reaction caused by old ingredients. Wait here. Gust make good medicine using her own ingredients. There. She's so small. Look at her. <laughs> Thank you. Um, what's this? Do you want me to shake your hand? For ingredients and labor. <laughs> what? You charge? Oh yes. Valuable ingredients. I won't charge 32 times, guys. She must be pretty strict with money. This was an unexpected expense. I hope I get to see more of her. So you're traveling alone while selling items you synthesize? You're so young, but such a hard worker. I'm one impressed nurse in training. <laughs> You flatter. Tell Gust if any items needed. Gust will make for cheap. Really? Then, please tell us if you need any ingredients. We'll go gather them for you. You will? Gathering is challenge. That is wonderful. Gust, Hooray. we are our friend now. Yay, we made a new friend. Yes. Friends. Wholesome. Seem to be getting along. I love it. I haven't seen Nep in a while. Did either of you let her off her leash or something? Uh-oh. <laughs> She's in a deep sleep after taking the medicine. Oh, okay. Never mind. Not uh-oh. No wonder it's so peaceful. Wow, that was a great cutscene. So if we do enough things for Gus, does she join our party or something? I don't know. That'd be nice, though. Oops. Road to Rat Last Day. We could go back to Last Station again. Yeah, we want to do that. Um, oh, no, fuck that, not doing that. What was the, what was the dungeon that I wanted to do? The upstart dungeon? Oh, also, um, Blonde's blog, if you're still here, Zeppi. Tangerines kick ass. I heard your face will turn yellow if you eat too many. Think it's true? <laughs> what the fuck? Tangerines kick ass, guys. Yeah. Sorry to be random, but I want to talk about my land today. I hope it helps people on the fence about moving here. Louis is protected by me, Whiteheart. This place is also called the Land of White Serenity. I guess fantasy or magical kingdom are good descriptions too. Yeah, no. Whenever, whenever, I, whenever, whenever I think about the word serenity, I always think about Lady or Princess Serenity from Sailor Moon. 
So now I just that word is just tied to that for me. What's different here compared to other lands is that magic is widely used to make life more convenient. Okay, so last station uses machinery and uh, is this game rated teen? Yeah, it is. So last station uses like machinery and technology and Louis uses like magic and wizardry. That's kind of cool. And then what does Leanbox use? Like I don't know, authentic ancient materials? I don't know actually. Though this doesn't mean you'll be able to use magic just by moving to Louis. Look how happy, look how happy Blonde is though. She's so happy. Oh, and there's a lot of snow. It's cold. Those are Louis's main selling <laughs> And it's cold. Hey, I mean I like I like it being cold. Especially cuz it's summer right now. It's too fucking hot. So that was, uh, that was Blonde's blog. Anyways, can I go to any of these dungeons? Bruaga Tower, Sealed Ruin. Defeat Slapping Lobsters, 10. Where's the one where I gotta defeat, like, five enemies? Defeat Moon Vermin. Hmm. You know, let's save. And try out one of these quest dungeons. <laughs> Only reason it's teen is because Blonde has no filter. Now, even if, even if Blonde didn't have a filter, it would still be teen because of all the booba in the game. You wanna know what's crazy? Neptunia Mark II is rated M because of, like, a couple cutscenes. <laughs> and somehow they got away with making it teen again in the remake. I don't know how. Um, let's try, let's try the Sealed Ruin. Well, there's a big ass dungeon. Louis stamp. So I have to find ten lobsters. That sounds tedious. And there's a lot a lot of times where I have to use Neptune's hammer crash. So I'm just gonna chill over here. <laughs> the the booba isn't noticed until Vert appears. True. Boom! Boom! I just hope these lobsters aren't too annoying. They're not as strong as they look. Hey, there's the lobsters. Oh yeah, this music this music is also really fucking good. Slapping lobster. I don't think I'm killing that thing, so I'm gonna go after the Vorpal instead. Since fire would work on the lobster. More and more. I wish nursing school was this easy. I gotta be dropping a lot of um a lot of experience. Alright, our next goal is we gotta find the treasure. Ready to go treasure hunting? Oh, it's over there. I found the treasure, dude. Let's go. Just gotta wait for it to charge it up. Well, don't worry. We'll see a vert eventually, too. When net bowl. <laughs> I mean, I have... I, maybe in the next battle. I don't know. What's in this chest? Frost Sea. Ooh, look at that. That looks cool. It increases my vitality, agility, and mentality. Sure, let's put that on. Overclocked. Alright, well, we found the treasure already. Unless there's more. No, I think there's only one treasure per dungeon, so we're done. Now I just gotta go around and get the loot and fight lobsters, I guess. Oh boy, whatever. I guess I have some time. Yeah, whatever. I think I can kill the lobster. If I just hit it enough. 
Okay, maybe, maybe not. This lobster's a bit tanky. He's a bit tankier than I thought. Dang, okay. What are most of the stats? Um, vitality is defense, mentality is magic defense, intelligence is magic attack, strength is attack power, that kind of stuff. That's what I love about this game, is all of the, like, lands, they have different battle themes, which is so fucking cool. Hmm. Again. I'm slicing junk. Mentality is res yeah, I guess you could say it's resistance, it's res, <laughs> from Fire Emblem. That's pretty much it. Oh, wait, I'm going the wrong way, shit. Let me go over here. Yeah, hi, I knew it. There was a chest at the end here. Not and we got the Super Shinobi. Do any of the, do, does any of this shit do stuff? He find the key fragments. That's our that's our goal right now. What was the item list? Valuables? Do these do anything, or are these just, like, gag items? Oh, wait. These are new moves, I think. Right? Yeah, now Neptune has Super Shinobi. Can I even use that? Mm -hmm. oh, all these moves are good. Can I use Super Shinobi? The Super Shinobi, yeah. That's a fire move. I can use Fantasy Zone. No. Let's use a uh, third shot. There we go. Alright, now go now time to go back. We gotta find ten lobsters. Although, it looks like only one lobster spawns per battle, so that's kind of annoying. The oh, fuck? I'm just gonna be jamming out this music. Oh, do these fucking lobsters dodge a lot of crap? That's annoying. All right, nep nep, punch it in the face. <laughs> there we go. Remember me as a wind on game industry's battlefields. Will do, Iffy. Hey, man, at least I get five reflexes every time I win a battle. So it's free free healing, I'd say. Good idea coming here. Yeah, I gotta kill ten lobsters. Do I get anything good for doing that? I get money, so yeah, technically I do. I can take care of this alone. So doing doing quests is worth it. And I think the more quests you do, the more money you get later in the game. Octomania. Oh, he, he's basically dead. I did not get hit that battle. Perfect bonus. Larry the Lobster got a lot of avoid. Damn it, Larry, how could you? Alright, Nep, smash it. Boom. <laughs> So Neptune can just kind of run around. I got there's another wall, dude. It's so annoying. 
Let me try and get an encounter in the meantime. Let's not waste our time here. Too. Oh, it's a lobster by himself. I didn't know that could happen. Okay. Hey, at least that's faster than modern Neptunia. You can just press buttons. I'm doing quests and main story later. Yeah, technically, I don't think I'm supposed to be f doing blonde story right now, but I can because I, I'm doing it out of order, which is kind of cool. You can't do that in the modern um, Neptunia games. You have to go in like a set order, which is kind of lame, honestly. All right, getting more lobsters. Boom! Boom! Gotta be something good at the end of here. What time are we at? We're at an hour 38. I don't mind, honestly. I, this, is, this, is, you know, this is pretty fun, this episode. Oh god, she's paralysis? She's got paralysis? What does paralysis even do? I don't know. I think it makes it so that I can't attack sometimes. Sold for a good I think. All right, attack me. Yeah, whatever. All right, you gotta die, Larry. Wrong enemy. <laughs> sniping. <laughs> sniping. There. This paralysis isn't really seeming to affect Iffy all that much. Oh yeah, okay, she yeah, so every now and then she just doesn't get to act. Honestly, not as bad as it is in later games though. Because in later games, Paralysis just straight up skips their turn, which sucks. But in this game, it just means they sometimes don't get to attack, which is okay. Is there anything over here? I don't think there's anything in this corner. There's just a whole lot of nothing. I mean, we gotta kill like 10 more lobsters anyway, so I don't mind rock walking around. Easy. Let's get him in a single turn. Oh, got a heal. Who's the bastard that I gotta take out? I don't think I can kill Larry in one turn, which is annoying. Whatever. I think this. Yep, green grass. All right, take out this bastard then. Yeah, I mean, that, that's some good damage. Wow, okay. The battle's over. It's four more lobsters. Like super strong? Twitch delay. Probably. All right, here we go. There better be something good at the end of this hallway. Oh, there's a encounter here. They're not as strong as they look. Maybe that's where all the lobsters are. <laughs> I'm gonna kill this guy first. Here, let's combo link him. Right, getting... There you go. Nice and easy. Okay, yeah, take your turn, you stupid lobster. Now's my chance to attack more. 
Wrong guy. <laughs> I hate that the enemies just linger on the field sometimes. Why are you missing so much? Damn it, Larry, why is your evasion so high? Yeah, I'm just gonna keep calling him Larry now. <laughs> I'm glad no one is seriously hurt. Yeah, I'm getting reflex drops, which is good. Okay. Before I do anything, we're gonna save. Yeah, it's this guy again. We'll see how long it takes to kill this one. Not bad, actually. I never let my prey go. Two twenty-eight. Alright, sir, now attack him. <laughs> Alright, so I believe it's triangle, 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 circle. And then I can transform. And we have a really cool looking purple heart where she's got like ice filters. I guess you could say she has a good cooling system. <laughs> Bro keeps dodging my shit. Are you keeping up? All right, getting better. Oh, his guard's broken. I need to go test. Boom. This is a good damage. Alright, slap him. Alright, Neptune should be able to kill it. There we go. These guys are a good source of experience anyway. 1300! Oh, she learned red grass now. Yeah, what the fuck is red grass? <laughs> Oh, okay. She finally learned it. Um, uh, yeah. So, pawn damage. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking I'll do. I'm gonna put, um, 70% into green grass. And 35 into red grass. And then if Ippy doesn't heal and gets down to low health, then she has a chance to use red grass. There, that should be good. We'll save that. And we got our reflexes back. All right, now we gotta go, to, now it's time to go back to the start of the dungeon and get those last two lobsters. It's not actually taking as long as I thought. But it still takes quite a bit to get back there and do all this all this grinding and shit. I can do this alone. Nah, 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 nah. Burr, burr, burr. Unless the unless it auto leaves the dungeon. Alright. Oh, this is how you kill the lobsters. You do a force combo. There we go. Easy. I win the MVP award. <laughs> Good job, net net. More reflexes. I mean, I, I got those for free, basically. Alright, now to walk back to the start of the dungeon. And by the time I get there, I'll probably get one more lobster. So, perfectly fine with me. Yep. There we go. Alright, die lobster. I never 
easy. It's so easy now. Oh, he got one attack off. He lived like he lived with just a little bit of health. Got him good. Yeah, you really don't get a lot of credits from these old enemies. Dungeon clear. Ooh, not bad. I'm I got. Impressed. I got an A rank. Let's see. <laughs> Defeat Slapping Lobster times 10, an area where massive amounts of Slapping Lobsters have been sighted. Ranking registration. Sure. And that was it. You get like 700 bucks for doing that. So, I'm getting closer to being able to afford wearing the Bastard Sword, you know? I could get the, um, Galacroid for Compa. She doesn't increase her attack by much, though. When Fire Emblem? Um, I don't know. I'm assuming Monday. It's, pro it's either Monday or Tuesday. Jose might play some Radiant on. Proof of purchase? <laughs> I was attacked by a Capricorn and it stole my purchase permit for a certain product. So that's another dungeon. Let's save after that. Also, what are these? What is it? Oh, these are, um, yeah, that's that. Okay. We could do, like, maybe one more dungeon. Also, none of these are, um, oh, here's the scenario. Ruaga Tower. That's where we're supposed to go, apparently. Boss Conquest. Yeah, let's see how tough this is gonna be. Ready to go treasure hunting? Okay, so the treasure is over that way. I'm guessing there's a good treasure over here, then. We got a decent amount of, um... We got a decent amount of healing items now, as well. I can do this alone. Oh, check out that guy. That guy looks like serious business. How can... <sighs> Ow, I got hit by a bat. Wait, these are normal bats. These guys are like really easy now. Just get out of <laughs> Get out of here. This is a bonus. Take it home. We're gonna try and kill this Concord. Yeah, where the hell that thing's supposed to be. Can Compa kill it? Let's find out. Very close to killing it, though. What the fuck? That didn't hurt. You good? Okay. <laughs> that's all it did. That's literally all the enemy did. Alright, we'll kill the bat. That's more important right now. If I can... Keeps dodging my shit, bro. Bird up. Bird up. I mean, the bats don't really do much damage, but it's still annoying. I don't want to take damage to begin with. This will work. Perfect. Bro was one hit away. I can't believe it. Ooh, I think I'm pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. Ooh, ooh gelatins. What's this? Oh. Another place to save. <laughs> Alright, Compa. 
We got a monster. It's gonna be that Cleon thing again, yeah. Fire is not good against that guy. <laughs> Funky. Yeah, 300, 500 is not bad. Wrong bullet. <laughs> Whoops. 800. Did I read that correctly? Kick him in the face. Ooh, I broke his guard. Let's go. Did you think that was it? Too bad. Oh fuck, it missed. A perfect target. Well, that was good though. Or you do your attack or whatever. Uh, um, here it is. This guy still this guy still takes a long time to kill though. <laughs> Which is annoying. That's the annoying part. If I can put them in check. Damn. If I can put them in check. <laughs> that is some good damage, though. The Super Shinobi. Let's watch this. I swear on this one. Yeah, it's definitely an attack. I, mean, I can barely tell what the fuck's happening. <laughs> Seems powerful, though. And I got a combo link out of that. If I can put them in check. <laughs> I can do it again. Alright, this guy's dead now. There we go. It's not bad being praised for good work. How amazing. Good more more experience. The power. Yeah, we did it. So I mean basically fighting that guy is just like getting a free level up pretty much. Which hey, I mean I won't complain about that. So I think we'll do this last dungeon and then we'll call it a day. Oh yeah, right, right, right. I was gonna talk about the, uh, I was gonna talk about yesterday. So Zach did a failed rando attempt, and, um, even though it was failed, there were some funny parts, so I'm gonna upload some highlights from that, even though I'm not uploading the VOD to YouTube, because it's a failed run. Um, but yeah. Well, this back gets two turns, that's not okay. Did you think that yeah, bye bet. And, uh, yesterday, I also watched, uh, Inside Out with my girlfriend. Actually, the second one. I, I watched the first one, like, a few weeks ago. And I really enjoyed that movie, surprisingly. You know, like, I know, like, a lot of people like to shit on Disney movies and shit. And, you know, make fun of them, but... I don't know, I genuinely liked it. Surprisingly. Because, yeah, I wasn't expecting to enjoy it either, but... You know, that's the surprising thing. There might be some things you end up liking. And then after that, I just took a nap. 
Oh, you do? You think Inside Out's pretty good? Well, glad, because I, I think it was great. Sniping. Gotta aim for the head. <laughs> that is still so funny. Sniping. Sniping. <laughs> Sniping. See, and I've seen the Inside Out duology. I mean, it wouldn't surprise me if there ends up being a third movie, considering how popular it is. Just, you know, don't make a fourth or fifth movie, because usually the fourth and fifth movie is when shit gets starts to fuck up. That's like a trend with so many movies. Like, they'll, they'll have like an awesome trilogy, and then like a fourth movie comes out, like 10 years after the trilogy ends, and then it'll be like absolute shite. <laughs> I don't know why that always happens, but that's just kind of a thing that ends up happening with a lot of movies. Like, like Toy Story, Shrek, uh, come to mind immediately. Uh, Terminator, I guess, as well. Care of this alone. Even though Toy Story th or uh, Terminator 3 was kind of mid to begin with. Yeti? That's not a Yeti, bro. What the fuck is that thing? <laughs> Nap likes to aim for the head and sniping. Sniping! Just get out already. That is a fucking good movie. This is 600 damage. Take it home. I need to edit, I need to edit, um, Ify's moves, because he doesn't have a lot of good skills. Like, add, like, Fathom in their moveset, yeah, that's good. Circle, triangle, triangle, triangle. Let's do Spectral Edge. Force combo, and another force combo? Can I have two force combos in there? You know what? We're gonna find out. Well, we'll have to figure out next battle, because she ran out. <laughs> Fast and Furious? Oh, never seen those. But I, I believe it. I, can do anything. I love Kampa's noises. He's like, Are you ready? Be I, forgot, I forgot I have Sweet Be Syringe. Prepared. Oh. You do that shit. <laughs> Sniping. <laughs> Nepu aims for the head. No problem at all. Come back anytime. See if he's so inviting towards the enemies. Ooh. How many um how many reflexes do I have now? Forty-eight. Not bad. I hope there's a chest at the end of this. Oh, two Yetis this time, dude. Alright. So what was it? Circle. Spectral Edge. Force Combo. Oh yeah, the Force Combo only applies the end bonus when you actually end with it. So yeah. And maybe Kampa can end this battle. Why the fireball is just like the best? There's so many things that are just straight up weak to the fire bullets. Also, I aimed for the wrong guy. Sniping. Sniping. There. You know what? I'm gonna edit Nep's uh, X combo. question is, where is it? It'd be like, X... Well, it, it's pretty, it should be pretty easy to find. I think. Shot combo. Yeah, here we go. So let's do, um... I'm gonna do third shot. Um, dual edge. 
Wait, isn't dual dual edge is the one that transforms? So I'm gonna do charge shot and then I'm gonna do um dual edge. Sniping. Get him. Gotta aim for the head. T aim. This will work. Still weird that I that guns never came back in Neptunia. Like they were in this game and then never again. Mm -hmm. And that's my power. I mean, there were a few characters that got guns in modern Neptunia. Like the the first one that came to mind for some reason is uh, Bisha. She has guns, I think. Oh yeah, Keisha. Keisha has guns, and Uni also has guns. There we go. So those are the those are two characters that have guns. How many reflex do I have now? 55. That's pretty good. Now I, now I actually have healing again. So I won't have to worry about that for a while. So we're gonna have a boss at the end of this dungeon, so we gotta be careful. We're better than this. <laughs> Fire is good. Net bull time. I'm going to try and get rid of this guy first. Think I was just a melee character? <laughs> just a melee character? Oh, well, maybe if I'm lucky, if I can kill this bat too. No, I don't think we're killing that bat. Gonna be close though. Whoa! Whoa! Alright, kill this bat then. Stay still if you want kids. Damn, okay. How's this? Aw, oh, she missed, dude. My sleeves are too long. <laughs> English is dead. Neptunia thought ripping Funi Midsona 3. <laughs> it's ripping off of that. I mean, I appreciate all the reflex drops, too. Ooh, I see another chest. I want that. This dungeon's a little bit longer than I thought it would be. Three gelatins. I have not used those yet. We're better than this. <laughs> We're better than this. I am not killing this guy in one turn. I can already say that right now. The power of medicine. That's a lot of damage, though. All right, net net. Gotta aim for the head. Stay still if you want kids. <laughs> what does that, that even mean? <laughs> Stay still if you want kids. <laughs> Oh, Kampa learned something. I didn't see what it was, though. Shit. I, I pressed A. I pressed X too quick. Or I guess it is A on my controller. She learned, um, Angelique. Honestly, I should put Sweet Syringe on a bit more. I haven't tried out Sweet Syringe in a while. Angelique. I don't know, but it, it's it's he it seems good. And I'll I'll put Cerno on there too. I don't know, combo link. There we go. We're coming up on the boss though, so it's time to save. Right, here we go. Back off! Don't waste your life. 
So what is this enemy? Hot dog? <laughs> okay, we're using wind on it then. Mm -mm. I'm actually pretty good at this. Ooh, good. Good damage. Think I was just a melee character? <laughs> Why does that make me laugh so much? Just a melee character? Aw, oh, missed, bro. Ow. How can... You're gonna bully you're gonna bully Iffy now? Nepruism is the language of Neptune. Also, Iffy did not heal. So, that's not good. Mm. Sweet syringe. Here's a strong one. Well, that's actually pretty good. Let's do an Angelic. Okay, that was good. And then I can do a combo link after. Here it is. I think I can keep going. This will be powerful. <laughs> See my power. That is good damage. Last one. Holy fuck, that did a, a thousand damage. Neptune did so much damage. I decided I'm gonna watch the transformation during bosses. That's the only time I'll watch it. Hell yeah. That's still so cool. You? I'll get you. You? You? Yeah, Effie is kind of on the verge of dying, so hopefully we can end this. I'm on a roll today. Thousand damage. Holy shit. Up with me? Just get out already. Oh, I broke his guard, too. Alright, defend with Iffy. Yep, smart move. Very smart move, holy shit. I think this would have sold for a good price. Okay, we got the green grass to kick in. Come on, Cerno. Punky. <laughs> Alright, I think Purple Heart's gonna end this battle. I got this one. As long as he doesn't keep missing. I'll get I'll get you. If I can put them in check. Boom, boom, boom. Wanna see how this works? 1200 damage. Holy fuck. That wasn't enough to take me down. I got penguin land and ice bullet. That was good. Wait, so I got double the the experience from that optional guy from the then that from the boss. The Miss Chamberlain told us about. But of course we didn't find anything. Let's go ask again. Well shit. Hold it. Uh-oh. Whoa, oh shit, it's White Heart. Louis has some totally tubular people. She kind of <laughs> doesn't match this land's theme, though. Wait, are we about to fight White Heart? Oh no. <laughs> can stay out of this. Neptune's all I need. You're after Nep too? Jeez, how does she attract stalkers? 
can't make us go away that easily. That's right. The three of us are as one. We're a party. Yeah, party. Yep, three is one. What now, huh? You still want to fight? You're involving them? You've got no sense of... No. What you don't have are your memories. Neptune! I think we're fighting her. I'll make all of you proud. Oh, I gotta forgot forgot her goofy ass theme. Yo, we got ice bullets now. Let's go. Our chamber looking a lot nicer now. Alright, time to attack then. Don't rely on weapons too much. Oh, she's tanky. Shit. We might be in trouble, actually. He man, help me! Get ready. Did you think that was it? Too bad. Gonna tickle. How about this? I'm gonna defend with everybody. Probably the smart option, honestly. All right, fire. Boom. This music's pretty damn good, though, I gotta say. Oh, yeah, right. What am I doing? Transform, bro. <laughs> if you want kids! Damn. Okay. That is still so powerful. I'm fighting way harder now. That's crazy, I know. Wait, what? Oh. <laughs> yeah, we're transforming. Alright, I'm gonna defend then with everybody. That did 360. That did 300 when I guarded. What the fuck? Shit, man. She also gets really inconsistent turns, too. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, I'm about to bring her guard. All right, getting better. Nice, let's go. Okay, I gotta defend now. Ow. I won't forgive you even if you cry. Now's the time. All right, healing. <laughs> Okay, I think we're gonna be okay, though. This is Sweet syringe Here's time. Hmm, not bad. I can do anything. <laughs> Boodoo. That tickles. <laughs> Damn. That did a thousand damage. Holy shit. A thousand damage honestly feels impressive now. It's kind of crazy. Alright. Uh, actually, I can, I can attack again. Her, uh, Whiteheart's not gonna be as tough as Blackheart, I think. I think Blackheart's gonna be, like, the toughest fight in a while. Like, we won't have to worry about tough bosses for a while. If he is almost dead, we're gonna guard with her, so it should be okay. How about this? 600. I'll get you. I'll get you. <laughs> Damn, I'm, fuck I'm fucking Take her up. Home. Alright, and then I'm gonna just shoot her, and I'm gonna defend. This either slaps, though. This, this is so good. Need 
Let's go. Here it comes. Let's go. Mm, not bad. Oh shit, I didn't guard with Kampa. I think we'll be okay though. I think we'll be okay. I don't have to guard every single turn. Frick! <laughs> you fine. You fine. I'll get you. Out. Too late for the oh. Whoa, she crit. I won't Shit. Damn, White Heart. You saying prick? No, I, I, it sounds like she's saying frick to me. But it could be either of them, honestly. I'm on a roll. I'll get you out. <laughs> the solo that looks so funny. I never let my prey go. Alright. Pew. Perfect. Alright, defend again. A deep shot. Yeah, I'm glad I defended. If he didn't heal again, the fuck? How unlucky am I? Do I gotta be for that to happen? Go! That was like 600 damage or something. I think I just did there. You. I can put them in. Oh shit, guard break. Oh, I can't do Bombario. That's too bad. Combo link. <laughs> if he wants to die, I guess, yeah. I never let my prey go. I'm hoping- I'm, I mean, I'm hoping she doesn't die, because that would suck. Right, I'm defending. Oh, she- actually, she's about to die! Come on, sweet syringe. I think Purple Heart's gonna have the final blow. Alright, third shot, come on. I'll shoot if you don't leave. Yeah! We'll get you back, you little shit! <laughs> haven't been traveling alone Yo, I got an energy level. bangle! I don't even know what that is. I screwed up? No. I just haven't gotten my full powers back. Bye. That was that was hella hype. Why was she after me? I don't understand. I don't recall ever meeting her before. Well, you are an amnesiac. <laughs> that Miss New Type might be an old acquaintance. <laughs> Miss New Type. Yeah, I wouldn't be shocked if you pissed off a few people in the past before you lost your memory. You were probably running away from that new type, got caught, and then buried in the ground. Yeah, makes sense to me. <laughs> 32 or 33? I think it's 33. <laughs> what sort of people would do that? She was stuck in the ground like a spear. So, shouldn't they be satisfied now? It's very rude of her to keep holding a grudge. She's like... Like... A nep-nep addict! A nep-nep addict! <laughs> Screenshotting that one. Alright, can I- anything I buy from the shop now? You know what? I have enough to buy the Bastard Sword, I'm getting that. I can finally buy it. Also, we're gonna find out what the, um... Well, first of all, let's equip the Bastard Sword. Well, let's get a good- let's get a good look at it. 
Ooh, that's cool. Check that shit out. I like that. It's got like a cool little X on it. Why does Neptune always get like these awesome ass swords? <laughs> it's so cool. It's so like unnecessary, but I love it anyways. Yeah, I'm a Nep Nep addict. All right. Now, is the energy bangle better than the anti windering? Kind of. Maybe maybe that'll go good on Neptune. Oh, it gives me 500 extra health. Oh shit, I might actually have to put that on Compo then. Yeah, I mean, it loot makes her have less magic defense, but she has good magic defense anyway. So I'll put that on her. Yeah, that's a good equipment. Now, now, now Compa has more health than, than Ify and Neptune. I think that's a good, I think that's good, actually. Kampa called you out? <laughs> yeah, I guess she did. Hmm. We're doing good on, um, items, too. Just buy, like, oh, yeah, we're kind of running low on reflexes. You know, let's just get 14. There you go, and I got 37. I have 72 tough mills, what the fuck? Am I, gonna, am I, am I ever gonna use those? I don't know. Oh, I noticed this sword has magic attack. Code armlet. Hmm, no, it's not. It's not better than what I have right now. I mean, everything's magic defense related, but I think more defense on Compa is good, and plus I want the extra health anyway. Mm. People of the Guild. No matter the number of powerful foes they defeat, no clue on a key fragment surfaces. They head back to the Basilicom. However... I apologize, but our goddess is not seeing guests today. What? Is she still upset about last time? Can't you do anything, Miss Chamberlain? I have no way to change our goddess's demands. Please leave. Nep, she can't help. Let's go for now. I already thought up another plan in case this happened. Why is it so- why is it not snowy over here? <laughs> if he thought of a plan... Ooh, I like this background. There's something I haven't told you two. I actually... belong to the guild. The guild? I've learned a little about it. They're the people who don't worship the goddess of the land they're born on. I mean, I already know that if he belongs to the guild, so that's not surprising to me, but yeah. So, they don't believe in the goddess's power? So, uh, long story short, if he's an atheist. <laughs> we're so-called heretics. Like, if someone born on Louis worshipped Lady Greenheart instead of Lady Whiteheart. Okay, never mind, that's, that's not what, uh, that's not atheist at all, so, actually. who do you believe in? Tell me, tell me, tell me. Nope, I can't tell that to anyone, not even you. Back to the topic then. The heretics gathered together and established the guild. It's the same on every planet, but people look down on guild members. They're branded as heretics after all. Hmm, I don't know what Ify is then. She's, uh, religious in a different way, I guess? So, where are these guild members? Do they travel the world like you, Ify? One of the answers to that is here on Louis. Ooh. You know how there's a basilicom in each Louis city, right? They govern the local area? Yes, I remember. It's a bit different from other lands where there's only one. Does it have something to do with the guild? Hold on, I've got a helper today. We can talk after she arrives. Ooh, a helper. She's involved too. Hello. We meet Yay! Up. Maid! I'm financier, Lady Whiteheart's Chamberlain. I would have never guessed IF was also a guild member. She's your helper? 
Why? She's a guild member too, but she's taking care of Louise CPU, right? <laughs> this is whack. This is whack. 34 times. Jesus Christ. Yes, I'm a member as well. I don't worship Lady Whiteheart. Work is work. My beliefs are my beliefs. But I'm sure I'll be thrown out as soon as this is public knowledge. Uh oh. Don't tell that anyone. Sounds tough being a heretic. Please go on. How are the towns of Louis and the guild related? The guild's hideout, subtly titled Guild City, is among Louis's cities. Guild City? <laughs> About 10 years ago, there was an oppressive movement against heretics in Leanbox, leading to a major purge. Most members barely made it to Louis safe. That's supposedly how the guild started. So now what are the heretics doing here in Louis? This is gonna lead to another lean box. Yeah, go back to lean box at some point. <laughs> Those who escaped to Louis were temporarily taken into custody as heretics at Entremet, the central basilicon. Then, they decided to create a city for the heretics run by heretics. <laughs> that is Guild City. Yeah, you know, we can go to lean box next episode, honestly. Their basilicon is run by the guild and their members are the city's residents. The whole city belongs to the guild. Yeah, I think it could be fun to hop to different cities each episode and, you know, just get a little bit done in each city. Because I think that sounds fun, honestly. Long story short, this spot's part of Guild City, yeah? It's not really different looking from other places. Yeah, look at all the mushroom houses. You wouldn't want to make it seem obvious. There's still more to the story. We want to see the CPU! Miss Chamberlain is our helper, right? How can we get into Entremet? Don't you have special Chamberlain privileges? <laughs> you let us in if we're buddied up with you. Oh yeah, we do do that, right? Am I gonna 100% the game? I mean, I don't know what 100%ing would be. Like, would to 100% this game, would that mean doing all the dungeons? Because that's not worth it. Because to do... To, some of the dungeons require you to be like level 700. I'm like, I don't fucking grind up to level 700. <laughs> a Chamberlain doesn't have much power. If I try to let someone in without permission, somebody else will stop me. I could do most of the dungeons though. Like a lot of the quest ones that like, you know, maybe some of the simpler ones, like you gotta be like level 20 to do it. Like I, I could do those probably, but not like the level 700 ones. Cause yeah, no. Back to what I was saying. The heretics in the Basilicon will be thrown out once they're found. Unless there's like a really easy way to gain levels, I don't know. But depending on the situation, additional punishments may apply. The lean box purge is not an unrelated matter. On that note, each Louis Basilicon is connected to Entremet via secret underground pathways. Ooh. Underground tunnels for Basilicon heretics to use as a means of escape. Financier can take us there so we can enter Entremet. Okay, so how the fuck do you pronounce your name? Is it financier? Is it financier? How the fuck do you say your name? It's like, the, it's the, the pronunciation of it is so damn inconsistent. I don't think it really matters. I just say financier, because I think that's how they say it in, like, Rebirth 1 or V2. I see now. It makes sense. Let's head to that underground tunnel place. <laughs> that's our best chance to see the goddess. I guess that's what we'll do next time then. Or we go to the lean box and check out more shit there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys. Well, I think that'll be it. We we had a little bit of a longer episode today, which I'm pretty happy with. Cause I, I was in I was kind of in a shitty mood, but now I'm in a better mood since I got to play this game. So next time on Neptunia. We're going to go to Leanbox, I guess. We could go to Leanbox, or do a little bit more on the Wii, or go back to Lash Station. We have options, which I think is nice. So, yeah. Also, real quick, let me check my mic settings. Did my mic, like, raise itself again? I, I don't know, let's see. No, I think I just upped my gain a bit more than usual. That's okay. I kind of want my voice to be loud anyways. You got you got sauce? Oh my. <laughs> he sent Vert. I like that. I like what I'm seeing. That's some good sauce. Here, if you guys want to see it. A wooga. 
invert as a boon knee. That's good. Okay, well, I'm gonna go for now. Uh, later in the day, um, I think I'm gonna play the Infinite Pit, because I'm kind of in the mood for that, too. Plus, um, there's not really much for me to do tonight anyways, besides that. Since, I don't really feel like playing, I don't really feel like watching Radiant Dawn tonight. And I don't think Jay is caught up on Metal Gear Solid 2 anyways. So, not much for me to do, because tomorrow I know I'm gonna play Kirby in the Amazing Mirror. And, what else? To be honest, there's not really a lot of series going on right now. So, yeah. And Seb didn't feel like playing today, so... <laughs> that's obviously out of the table as well. So, yeah. Anyways, enough waffling. I'll see you guys later. I'm gonna go take a little break. Uh, probably relax a little. Say hi to my girlfriend. And, uh, yeah. See you guys later.